We leave to Colombia in two days. Tomorrow we head up to San Antonio and then we fly from San Antonio to Medellin, Colombia. Today we're gonna be running some errands. We have to prepare our car for storage. So we're gonna go give him a wash, vacuum, and then we'll bring Dorian home, put Dorian in the backyard. Oh, Dorian's the name of the car. And then cover him up and leave him for a year. Before we do all that, we're gonna grab something to eat. <laughs> Being fatties. We are at a restaurant called Raisin Cane's. It's a chicken strip spot. That's the only thing they serve. So they have chicken strips, which is what they're known for, french fries, and then it comes with toast. What's also really popular here is their cane sauce. So this is one of our last meals in Texas. In the USA. And the USA for a year. This is the best chicken strips. Here. Yeah, best chicken strips that we've had to date out of all, all the places that we've been to. And Laura wanted this to be one of the last meals we have. So that's why we're here. Let's dig in. We are home now. Ran some errands, went to get the car wash, vacuumed it. We didn't just get a regular car wash, we got a car wash with the wax. Apparently the wax is supposed to help protect the car while it is sitting idle for a long period of time. Now Laura is organizing our clothes so we can put it into organizers and then our suitcase. We'll show you the packing segment and how we pack for long-term travel now. got everything packed up let me tell you what I have in my cubes this large one here are my pants and some shorts so these are workout shorts swimming trunks this here is a combination of all my t-shirts as well as a sweater this cube has a few more shirts and another sweater but some of the thicker ones more dense ones this pouch uh, so my underwear is in here as well as my socks and then when I empty it, I can use it as a laundry pouch. And then we both got two travel size towels. These are microfiber and they fit compact into these bags. So it was designed to travel with here. These are actually really big. They're really long. Yeah, they're like this long. They're like yeah. what you would use for yoga. Yeah, but, um, but it packs a very thin... And there's two towels in here. There's a bath towel and a hand towel so we haven't used this yet we washed them of course and you know we'll, we're excited to travel with these it'll be easier for us than taking regular ones this here is enough to last me maybe a week to a week and a half i often make a couple of outfit changes depending on whether or not i go to the gym so i wear regular clothes and then gym clothes and then i have to swap out let's put it in a suitcase all right i'm gonna put the heavy stuff towards the bottom Okay, this is my stuff. I have more things than Tony does. Um, I have my pants and I have some long sleeves down here. Um, I have a, a couple of sweaters and some more pants and a couple of dresses under here. And then in here I have all of like my nicer tops, my t-shirts, and I also have workout clothing. And here are my going out tops. Um, it all, they're all small, so they fit in a bag like this. And here I have my socks, and I have my bathing suits um, underneath this top here. And here are my sports bras and my undies. So now that I have my clothes in the suitcase, I'm going to pack the other side with our other travel items. The first thing that I'm gonna put in there is a travel-friendly yoga mat that our friend got us for Christmas. It's really cool because it folds up. Yeah. Um, and it has like this it, nice little pattern on it. Yeah. Yeah. It has the mandala. I like it because I like the color and the print. And yeah. you don't have to roll it. I love yeah. it. You could just you could just, so we just hold it. Drop it in here. Mm -hmm. uh, the next item. Uh, these are workout bands. Booty bands. Booty bands. And resistant bands. Resistance bands. You can use them for Upper any body. kind of home workout. 
yeah. upper body, full body, whatever body you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to go in here. It's a little heavy. It's probably about eight pounds. It's three pounds. Three pounds. Yeah. Only three pounds. This feels a little heavier. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this is our travel gym. And next up is our treasure chest of toiletries. And medicine. And medicine. This has everything from Flonase to loofah to band-aids and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go in here. Yep. And then I like to put my shoes on the other side. I don't like it to touch my clothes. And so in bags. that's going to go in here and it's in a bag. I don't have a like cloth shoe bag. So any kind of bag will do, grocery bag, whatever you mm -hmm. have that can go in here. It also keeps your luggage clean. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then I have an extra duffel bag. So this is For if like we a go weekend. to the gym or we go on a weekend trip. Mm -hmm. And it so. packs up very nicely because it's a nylon yep. nylon bag. And this here is from American Apparel. I still have some room if I want to squeeze some more things in here, I can. But I think the second time around on this world tour trip, we are definitely more conscious of what we actually need versus what we don't need. So we've been able to consolidate and narrow our our items down a little bit and then we also have two backpacks that we're going to be traveling with i'll show you that too so these are our new backpacks from timbuktu this is not sponsored we really just like the brand and how travel friendly and compact these backpacks are i got this backpack for christmas and then after laura saw mine she decided to get one for herself mm -hmm. mine's smaller but i don't need as much space as tony because tony carries more things yeah so we can fit our laptop in here, an iPad yeah. book. Notebook. Um, I can even fit one of these clothing cubes in case I wanted to take this bag with us for a weekend trip. Mm -hmm. And then what's even cooler is that my sister got me a camera bag from the same company. Mm -hmm. Check this out. So I told your sister about this bag because so many camera bags on the market look so nerdy and ugly. Yeah, super nerdy. Yeah. And um, I found that the brand that we got for the backpacks also made a camera bag. And it's kind of bulky, but of course it's for a camera, so it needs yeah. to have some cushion. But I found that it's definitely more stylish. More stylish. It's also weatherproof. And then it has this inside bag. So, so you, you can could take you, it out like that. Yeah, and you could use this as just like a regular bag if you want to take it out and about. Yeah. It has a compartments inside as well as a secret pocket back here yeah where i have my floss yeah. mm -hmm. and then the bag itself has a few compartments so you can customize it as you'd like yeah. if it's it uh, if it's a mirrorless here. camera which is a camera we have and then two lenses or one lens and accessories yeah look at that lining scratch resistant yeah. right here so definitely recommend this bag it's very affordable yeah i think it's about thirty dollars yeah and it looks better than a lot of other bags that yeah. i've seen The right side of Laura's suitcase is now organized. We got her shoes stacked in a manner that allows us to have more space. So on the right side of it are the shoes and then on the left side are additional toiletries. Go ahead and zip it up. And here we go. the other side of her suitcase is already organized. Yeah, I think, I think we're good to go. Yeah. Hello, we are in San Antonio. We just checked into our hotel room. We drove up this morning from South Texas. It took us about three and a half hours to get here. We had to make a couple of stops before we checked in. We had some lunch. Tony had to make a run to the post office, but now we're here. We could relax a little bit, actually get to enjoy a hotel room because we have all afternoon. So yeah, tomorrow's the big day. Here's Tony. Ooh, Tomorrow's the big yeah, day. Yeah, right? Colombia, baby. <laughs> What's up? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we're going to Colombia, and we're excited. The only downfall is that we're getting there kind of late, and we arranged a driver. I haven't heard from him, so fingers crossed that it all works out. Because I think by the time we get into our Airbnb, it's gonna be midnight. So that's a little. It's a little sketchy to get to a new place that late at night. Could be worse. It could be worse. We have um, some late night horror stories of airport 
situations. Anyways, we're excited. <laughs> Hey guys, we're in Mexico City Airport right now. We're currently waiting to board our next flight. We had about three and a half hours to kill in between, so we had some lunch and now we're enjoying some beer at a little cafe. We just found out our gate number, which took a long time for it to update, so we were just kind of aimlessly walking around for a while. I guess this is what they do to like encourage you to spend more money. But we're about to board in about 20 minutes and then we'll be in Medellin around 10.30.